And North Korea held its famous gymnastics performance on Sunday, the mass games, for the first time in five years. This year was different, though, and noticeably more high-tech. Park Ji-jun tells us more. North Korea's iconic gymnastics performance, the Mass Games, kicked off on Sunday to celebrate the 70th anniversary of the regime's founding. Under the theme Glorious Nation, tens of thousands of gymnasts and acrobats danced in highly synchronized formation. Among the crowd were North Korean leader Kim Jong-un and his wife Lee Seok-ju, as well as foreign VVIPs, including Lee jan su the number three man in China sent by Chinese leader Xi Jinping. The games are making a comeback for the first time since 2013, when the North Korean regime celebrated its 65th anniversary with the Arirang Mass Games. This year's event is notably developed technology-wise, seen through advanced lighting, drones, laser shows, and fireworks. While performances of years gone by conveyed strong anti-U.S. messages, this year's games highlight a starkly different tone. They're focused on the regime's initiative toward rebuilding its socialist economy. They also emphasize the major developments on the Korean Peninsula, mainly the historic inter-Korean summit with South Korean President Moon Jae-in at Panmunjom. The stage was filled with clips of the leaders holding hands and signing the Panmunjom Declaration. It also showed images of a unified Korea, reflecting hopes of achieving peace on the Korean Peninsula. The mass games will continue at the North Korean capital's Rungrado May Day Stadium throughout September. Park Hee-jun, Arirang News.